performance that truly matters. For each and every one of us. This is what you've been waiting for. See it at least once in your lifetime. Shen Yun. Coming to the Bay Area from December 29th. Tickets at ShenYun.com slash CA. Healthy Skin with Dr. Sonia. I'm here with Dr. Sonia from Elite MD, and today we're talking about turning back the clock, the in-office Elite mini facelift. Yes, Aubrey. So we are all trying to be healthy, eating well, exercising, but we still continue to lose our collagen and elasticity of our skin. And this is where people start looking at options. And so the Elite MD mini facelift becomes a wonderful option for those who are looking for natural results because we get to target multiple areas, the neck, the jowls, the face, all that side skin and we give you a natural result so it minimizes scarring least invasive procedure done in the office and you are very comfortable well look at that she's so refreshed so youthful yes. what about men do they get this done too yes you know they love it just <laughs> as much as our women do and they love the natural result but often will usually target certain areas of their neck and will combine it with other laser modalities and it produces a great result those are great results thank you dr sonia call elite md today the first 50 callers get one thousand dollars off Thank you, Bay Area. Again, you've made Crone4.com the number one local news website. Now, from the Bay Area's local news station, you're watching Crone4 News at 5. This wastewater surveillance program will measure and track the use of risky substances over time to help inform our public health interventions. Now at 5, a new way to track the fentanyl crisis in San Francisco as the number of people dying from overdoses hits a new high. Thank you for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Noel Bello. And I'm Grant Lotus. There is a new tool, you could say, in the fight against the opioid epidemic in San Francisco as the city announced this was the deadliest year on record for overdose deaths. More than 750 deaths so far, the majority of those, more than 80% involving fentanyl. Crowd Force Rob Nesbitt explains how the city wants to use this new wastewater data being collected. San Francisco was one of 70 cities taking advantage of the federal program to test wastewater for substances such as fentanyl. Critics who work in harm reduction say the money should be used in other ways. Waste